Okay, so I just got all these Korean beauty products and I'm dying to try them. So we are in my messy bathroom with bad lighting um, so that I can show you how to do all this stuff and what all it is and because there's a lot of questions about it and I'm probably going to answer most of these questions wrong, but I will do my best. This is my very first time to ever do anything with Korean beauty like this. So we're, um, I'm learning with you. So cool, we're gonna do it. All right, hold on. Step one is um, taking off your makeup. So I bought this makeup eraser. Um, I also saw a lot of people asking questions about it. So of course, naturally, I had to try it if everyone is wanting to know about it. So this is my very first time using it. I don't have any makeup on um, except for a little bit of lip stain and some eyeliner, I mean mascara. This thing is really soft. Everyone says it really works. Um, you get it wet, rub your makeup off, and then you can wash it in the washing machine. So I'm um, always down for ease of use. I spend so much money on makeup wipes because I, they get dried out. So we're gonna do this. So let's get it wet. Y'all, I literally have my camera, like one leg of the tripod is in the sink. <laughs> so. Hopefully I won't lose my camera in the process. So this is wet. I just put some like cool water. See if I can get close without it getting blurry. I do have, look, I have roller lash on. Um, I do have permanent eyeliner done. It's not, it wasn't done well, um, but it's on there so. I'm gonna wipe this off. Look, it's really coming off. I can't believe how well this works. I'm very pleasantly surprised. A little bit of lip tint on too. Oh. Um, okay. Look. Gross. But cool. And if it's not very wet either, which is neat. Okay, so now that the makeup's removed, let me check. Sorry, I gotta look in the viewfinder. Let's start talking about the Korean stuff. So, mainly what my problems I have with my skin is um, I have a lot of hormonal problems. So, I have a bunch of hormonal acne that comes up. I don't have so much right now, which, but I also have a lot of sun damage. My lighting's bad, but I have a lot of sun damage, especially on my cheeks. They get really red. And these are all things that I'm just insecure about. I have a lot of spots, like dark spots. So um, when I started researching the Korean stuff, I noticed like these women, their skin is so plump and voluptuous and beautiful. So I want to have plump and voluptuous and gorgeous skin too. I want all these little places. I want them all to be gone away from my face. So. The first step is an oil cleanser after you take your makeup off. So I bought, y'all it's still in the wrapper, um, I bought Rice Water Bright Cleansing Oil, oh, let's see, Ooh, it's gonna, it's gonna be blurry, I can't get it to focus, but this is, um, the Face Shops Rice Water Bright Light Cleansing Oil. You use the oil cleanser on a dry face, so you don't want to do it on a wet face. Um, it's going to pull all of the, you'll see the word sebum. You're going to see the word sebum a lot when you're um, starting into this. And just as I'm doing it, I've only been doing it for a few seconds, and I already feel like it feels um, gritty. Like it didn't feel gritty in my hand, so it's already pulling stuff out of my face. So the Koreans believe that you, if you massage your skin and massage your face, that it will um, help improve brightness. So I'm going to massage my face for a little while. Is this cute? What if I did it like this? The more I massage my face, the more um gritty stuff like it feels like dead skin 
So, um, the suggestion was to massage your face for 10 minutes. That's what I read on one blog, that 10 minutes is a good time to do it. It's a really long time to massage your face. I've been massaging for a minute and 45 seconds, and I feel like I've been massaging for ever. I'm very impatient, like most people. Okay, now that I'm done with the face oil, you want to use a foamy cleanser. I didn't get a foamy cleanser. I already had this um, shiny, it's called Shiny Skin Soap. It says Egg Pour. It's by Tony Moly. And I love it. It's so cute. The packaging is so adorable. And then, like, they look like little eggs. Isn't that cute? So cute. This one smells like doo doo. But this one smells really good. Um, I saw some people say that you can use this one in the morning and this one at night, but personally, I kind of just mix them together. And these lather up so nicely. Oh, there it goes. See? Yeah, it's got a good lather. And the whole time I'm doing this, I'm trying to really like push and massage my skin. Make sure I get everything. Okay, let me um, go to the next step, which is going to be an exfoliator. They, they don't believe in being rough on your skin at all. Obviously, exfoliator is very, very rough. Um, I bought this one, which is Skin Food Sugar Wash Off Mask. And it's uh, strawberry scented. Y'all, I'm... <laughs> Real life confession, it smells so good when it was on my face that I actually licked it because I thought it would be candy, but it's not, it doesn't taste good, so I don't recommend licking it. You only want to do this like maybe once a week at the most. Like most sites that I saw suggested you do it like twice a month. It's not a lot at all. And this particular product. Um, God, it smells so good. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna scrub, get all this dead skin off. It says that, um, you can add water to it to keep it from, ex um, from damaging your skin a lot. God, I say, um, a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. So, we're scrubbing. I'm gonna add a little bit of water because it's starting to feel really abrasive on my skin and that's, we don't want that. I'm just adding a little bit of moisture to that. I'm gonna get really, if you see me looking up, I'm looking into my viewfinder. Um, I'm gonna get my problem areas really well on my forehead. Okay, now this has to sit for this has to sit for 15 minutes. So I'm going to go let this sit, and I will be back in 15 minutes. Okay. Now I wash that off. My skin already feels so smooth and so bright. Oh man, all right, my skin feels like a baby's butt and we still have so many more steps to go. Next step is toner. Step four, toner. All right, this is Innisfree's Volcanic Pore Toner. And on the box, it says that this is good for blah, 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 okay. Have I gone blind all of a sudden? Okay, a sebum controlling toner with volcanic cluster with strong sebum absorbent power to keep skin grease free. So I do have a problem. I have normal to dry skin, but I do have these little problem areas around my nose and on my chin where it gets incredibly greasy during the summer because just the heat. And you're gonna hear a lot about sebum that's what's inside your pores. It's the nasty, gunky stuff. So I'm going to take a cotton pad and pour some of this on it. It says to shake this particular product really well because it has powder in it. So I'm just covering my pad really well. And then I'm going to rub this all over. Now this particular product that I'm using, this Volcanic one by Innisfree, it smells like cologne. It smells really good, but it says that if you have any problems with your skin, you need to discontinue using it if it gives you any issues. So there's the toner. 
Okay, despite how much I've washed my face, this much junk still came off. So like, despite how much I've used face wash, there's still stuff coming out of my skin. That's pretty impressive. Alright, on to step five, which is going to be, I have it written on my mirror. Because <laughs> it's a lot of steps, how are you supposed to remember? Okay, the next step is Essence, Misha Essence. This is by Misha, it's the first treatment Essence. Okay, smooth, okay, this says it's for soothing, smoothing, balancing sebum level, moisturizing, improving skin tone, firming, wrinkle repair, and boosting. Okay, this is what it looks like out of the box. It says, also says to use this with a cotton pad. So I'm going to put this on up. Oh, goodness, it's like hard to get out of this bottle. Oh, there it goes. Okay. This is a glass bottle, too. I guarantee you I will end up breaking this shiz before this is over with. Alright, it says to rub it gently with a cotton pad. So I'm going to do that. And then it says once you do that, you want to pat it into your skin so that it absorbs. So I guess I should just be patting anyway. Let me do that. That's rubbed on there. This does not smell as good as the other stuff. Patting for absorption. Pat, 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 pat. It does absorb. It absorbs quickly. That feels like it's in there. Next step is going to be your, um, uh, what are they freaking called? Your serums. <laughs> serums. They're also um, referred to as, I have no idea how to say this word, y'all. Amp, ampli, amp. Ampoules. Okay, so I got a couple. Of, I got three to be exact. I got no four. Okay, the ones that I got were I got vitamin C, which I'm not gonna put on today because it hasn't gotten here yet. But I got snail repair, and this is by the brand Maison. And this I got um, placenta. Why not? Okay, when I was reading about them. It says what each of them do and what they're good for. Um, so these are really good for repairing broken skin, um, helping moisturize. I also got this, which is a um, hyaluron. How do you say this? Hyaluronic acid. All these words, man. I'm from Alabama. I don't know all these words. Hyaluronic acid. And this brand is completely in Korean I can't read any of it so um, I'll have to post in the comments or in the description what brand this is so I'm gonna go ahead the first one I'm gonna do is uh, the vitamin C which I don't I don't have my vitamin C in yet this is Olek Hendri the Ole Hendrickson vitamin C so I'm going to do that for now, but normally once my vitamin C that has the high concentrate comes in, I'm going to use that one. You just want to push it, like press it into your skin really gently. It kind of burns, I'm not going to lie. Um, um, when you are dealing with vitamin C, you want to make sure you keep it put up in like a cool, dark place away from the light because it um, will make your product last longer. It's not really good for it to be in the light. Next, we're, I'm looking at my mirror see what's next. Next, we're going to do the mystery product. <laughs> this is the, hy the hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid. We're going to do this next. Ooh, this is really jelly. I don't think I need to use a cotton pad, but I'm going to anyway. Next time, I'll use this with my fingers. Like I said, this is my first time to you. I'm learning. Oh my goodness, there is a lot of black stuff that came, oh, I don't know, a lot of black stuff that came off on that. Alright, I'm going to pat that in. Make sure to get on the cheekbones, but don't get it on your eyes. And okay, next is going to be Emulsion, which I bought Skin Foods Peach Sake Emulsion. This is going to eliminate shine from big pores 
and excessive sebum production. So this should help with your pores, your pore size. And this is also a glass bottle. I'm not a fan of glass bottles, I'm going to be honest. Like it's really pretty and it's really cute, but I'm so clumsy. This is, look, and it's so hard, it's not like wanting to come out, it's like a ketchup bottle. I guess got some of that. Rub that on. Oh, it smells like peach sake. Yum. Rub that on. Pat, pat, pat. Pat, pat, pat. We're patting away. My face feels so heavy right now, like it has so much stuff on it. I mean, it does have so much stuff on it. Next step is going to be the lovely placenta. Okay, mostly I wanted to get the placenta for the healing properties. I'm really hoping that it's going to take the places where my skin breaks out and where it's broken and really like heal that, give it lots of moisture, lots of, try to get some of this like youthful, I mean I'm only 29 and I've got so, well I'm not even 29, I'm 28, I'll be 29 next week. I'm already aging myself up a year, y'all. Okay, and focus for me, baby. Uh, burr, burr, burr. It's not gonna focus. Okay, this is for whitening and wrinkle care. So, naturally where I have all my sun damage, I don't want that there. This is, I also, anti-aging is a big concern for me, um, since I'm obviously not getting any younger. Comes in a dropper, put some drops on my fingers, and this you pat onto your skin. I'm just gonna pat it in. Okay, and you think that this would smell really gross and like feel and look really gross, but it doesn't have a smell. It doesn't have a smell at all. Okay, next I'm gonna use the snail repair. This is for um, skin repair and wrinkles. That's what it says on the tube anyway. But you need to research your own products. Like, think about, oh, this is really slimy and thick. Oh, let me get some more so I can show you. Okay, look. Oh, it gets so thick. Okay. Um, snail products are really, really popular. I have done a couple of snail masks, and they were fantastic. My skin was amazing afterwards. Um, I mean, awesome. So... If you get one serum at all, I would recommend trying out the snail because I haven't tried the other, but this one, I'm a believer. The next step is sheet mask. So let's talk about those for a minute. Let me grab some. Um, sheet masks are important. These can be done a couple of times a week, however often you feel. This is not an everyday thing. This step is not everyday. These are just some that I bought. These are all Tony Moly brand, every one of these. Um, Innisfree, people rave about Innisfree's masks. I haven't tried those yet. Um, I bought these on a whim and I love them. If I had to pick, if I was gonna pick like one set of masks out of these so far, I would get, I would do these Pyrrhonis 100s. These are awesome. So. Yeah, you can just figure out what you like and try it. They have them for all kinds. This is skin smoothing. They tell you what they're for. So just pick out whatever one you want. I'm not going to do I did one last night, so I'm not going to do one today because I don't need to. Next up is eye cream. And I got Etude House Moistful Super Collagen. And the reason why I got this one mainly is because I dropped it. Sorry. It's mainly because of um, the recommendations on it and I've used collagen masks before and they've made my skin so plump it's just so youthful looking okay got that open sorry brand new like I said comes with this little dipper thing for sanitary purposes okay let me show you look how bouncy this is can you see it it's so just thick and bouncy and sticks together like rubber so you're going to want to pat this along your eye socket. 
I'm gonna do my brow. You don't want to put this on your eyelid. I'm gonna make sure I get where my crow's feet are. And you're just gonna pat it in lightly. Okay, now I, now I understand why that scooper is in here. When you try to get it out with your finger, you don't get a whole lot. Um, you don't need a whole lot though. I mean, I barely, this little tiny bit is more than enough. So now I've got that patted in and it feels so super hydrating, which is awesome. Okay, last step is going to be um, your moisturizer. And I know you're thinking like, oh my god, we've just put all this crap on our face and now we have to put moisturizer too. Yes, you do. Um, there's a bunch that are recommended. Etude House also makes a um, collagen moisturizer, which I did not buy. Um, what I'm going to use instead, this is nighttime. This is a nighttime time routine. So I'm going to use this Cerave, 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 however you say it. I don't know. PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. So I'm going to put this on all over. A little moisturizer. Oh, this stuff feels like heaven. You think that it's going to be like some kind of yucky lotion when it comes out or some cheap lotion when it comes out, but really it's kind of like a gel. It feels really good. It smells nice too. And it's not overwhelming. If you're going to do this in the daytime, you need something with SPF. So I bought this from the face shop. Oh, I'm so there. Ooh, oh, oh, we got something to focus for once. It's got 40 SPF and it says sebum control moisture sign. So after all that, your pores are going to open. In the daytime, I'm going to use this. I picked this one in, oh, I threw it. Okay, I picked this one in particular because of the sebum control. I don't want anything. I don't want my face to get really junky. I don't want all that nasty stuff back in my pores. I don't want to get greasy. And it also said that it makes a really good makeup primer. So if you need a daytime moisturizer that has SPF, which they're, and that also can work as a makeup primer, this, I would recommend this one. Um, I've had it for two days now. Yesterday I put on a little bit of foundation over it and it was beautiful, but you need to make sure that you let it dry, let it sit, let it dry, let it breathe, and then put your makeup on. I'm talking so much, I'm out of breath. All right, anyway, so this is Natural, natural Sun Eco from the face shop. That's it, like you're done, now it's time for bed. Yay, we made it through. Didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. Um, if I wasn't sitting here talking through the whole thing, this would maybe take, if you don't do the exfoliator and you don't do the sheet mask, this will maybe take 15 minutes of your day at night. It seems really overwhelming, and it kind of is, but research your products. Find out what you need, find out what your problem areas are, and just do your research. Um, I wish that I could sit here with every single one of you and say, you need this one, oh, you need this product, but I just can't do that because I'm not knowledgeable enough about all of the products yet. I want to try all of them. I want to try everything. Um, that's just not reality because, you know, money doesn't grow on trees. So, that's it. That's all it is. And I say that's all it is. That was like 13 products. But I feel like... I already feel like my face is super moisturized, super hydrated. I already feel good. So I'm going to go to bed, bedtime. I'm going to let this absorb overnight. And in the morning, I'll wash my face and I will put a few of these products on again. Um, I'm not going to use all this stuff in the morning. I don't... Um, it makes it too sticky. So this is definitely a nighttime routine. In the morning time, I would use my face wash or the cleansing oil with, and then my face wash. And then I would use vitamin C and your moisturizer. So that is going to be my morning routine and all this is nighttime. So 
I hope that this was informative and helpful. Um, I feel like I talked a lot. I definitely said I'm um a lot. And that's it. So, thanks for watching. Catch you girls on the flip side.